Hello, this is Derek Tebris, and this is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in Canada. And there can only be one reason that I would have all this equipment hanging out here, because I've got all kinds of goodies that require towage. Yay, towage and, and liftage. Let's get into it. All right, what have I added? Well, the first actually is a pack that contains four trailers. Two of them are normal and two of them are more realistic. It is this transporter dolly version. It's $15,000, $15, $15 a day. And the transporter semi version. Same thing, basically, just without the dolly. These come in the more realistic and normal, whatever normal is, non-realistic, whatever you want to call it. So you just choose the correct one from the set. I also have in Tippas some Great Danes. They come with chrome and non-chrome version. And remember, unless the chrome has been properly done, I don't know whether this is true of this because I don't always check. Rarely do I check. But chrome can cause issues with your game's performance, but you know, whatever. You get the choice. You can put the chrome or the normal. I just threw both in here. You get a tandem axle, $43,150 a day, and a tri-axle, uh, Canadian spread tri-axle setup. So it kind of works with Canada map. It's $50,000. let us just buy that. We'll buy a chrome version just to see the difference. That's not all that I've bought. The, I bought? No. Uh, put in here. We All the way to the bottom. I've also thrown in a mobile fuel station. This is a Zeppelin mobile fuel station. I thought this was an interesting thing. It's been hanging out there for a long time. I just never got around to it. Um, but it looks like it has a few little extras that we're going to play with. $24.99 to buy. Let's buy that. Okay, here's all of our equipment. Uh, all right, which one of you is chrome? Which one of you is not? Ah, chrome wheels. Uh... Well, your wheels are blacker. I'll give you that much. Yeah, it's got better better looking wheels overall. Huh, how about that? Well, there you go. All right, here are our trailers. The Dolly version. We I expected to actually phase right through that, so that worked out well. All right, so that is the Dolly version and the non-Dolly version where you cannot phase through that part. That's good. And then we've got the trailer here. And the identical trailer here. All right. And the Zeppelin is hanging out over here. Zeppelin. Grab fuel handle. <gasps> Look at this. I got a fuel handle in my hand. I got a fuel handle. Okay, put that back. We'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's hook everybody up. All right, so we've got everybody hooked up here. We got the... Uh, the Mercedes Benz hooked to that. We got the Stralis on that. And then the two Great Danes are on the Renaults. So let's go ahead and uh, the two Great Danes are going to have, should have, identical behaviors here. Let's see here. We have open doors. Very nice. Okay. So my doors are open. Whoa, hello. Now what? There's the question. And that's, and that's really the question I had for this mod. I was like, okay. Uh, what exactly am I going to do with it? Conceivably, I could load a pallet in here. That would be logical, wouldn't it? Well, here's the thing. If I go back and find, here you are, this guy. And we go and get this pallet. Uh, okay, so I've, I've loaded the pallet in, but... I'm I'm not a hundred percent convinced of the usefulness. Uh, let's get see see what we can do about this. Now I did notice it has a lock load ability. This makes me think that with a ramp, which I have a natural ramp here in the Canada Canada map, Canada map, we could load a piece of equipment on here. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. Let's pull in. Okay, it's wide enough for a single pallet. That seems a little bit silly, but whatever. Okay, so I put my, my wool pallet in there. All right, great. Oop, other direction there. There we go. I put my wool pallet in. Good. 
That's, and then I can just close my door. So I could load it up with wool pallets. That could be useful, I guess. I presume. I mean, but there's mods out there that auto load the pallets for me. Kind of question what I'm going to use this one for. Now, let's go back to this guy. Out of curiosity, I wanted to take this guy. I'm going to go over to my uh, silo and see if it magically fills my silo with stuff, which it should, or fills my trailer with stuff, which it shouldn't, but you never know, right? Okay, good. It doesn't. <laughs> kind of wanted to make sure it didn't do that. All right, let's use our natural ramp over here and see if we can load in piece of equipment. Wee. Uh, this is going to be such a disaster, but let's try it. Okay. Uh, let's buy a small piece of equipment. Maybe, I don't know what we'd haul with this thing. And that's sort of my issue. Let's buy the farm hall. All right. We're up here with our farm hall, which is withering all of our grass. Well, that's nice. All right. Let's see if we can get this in the trailer. We can indeed get it in the trailer. That's interesting. What happens if I try to do this? Okay, it does catch. Woo, outside. Whoa, hello. <laughs> it actually looks like art on the side of the trailer. That's pretty cool. So we've got a farm all in our uh, in our trailer. I mean, I guess that's that's a use for it there. If you uh, you transport tractors and your enclosed trailer the downside is it keeps jumping inside I'm trying to uh, to now yeah okay I got I got the lock the load is locked but the load is not locked all right well there you go there's the Great Danes I'm not I'm not really convinced with the Great Danes honestly but uh, there you go there's some Great Danes for you Nope, that's not what I want. All right. Here are our other two identical trailers. So one has a dolly for hauling by a tractor and one doesn't. So we're probably just, we're just going to take the one here. Okay, so we have activate wide load warning. Oh, that's so cool. It makes a little sound. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, lift stands, V. Uh, that would help if I retracted them, huh? Yeah. Uh, lower stand. Open ramp. That's what I need. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I have to say. right there, That's pretty cool. Um, beacons. Oh, yeah, we got beacons for our wide load. All right. Let's, uh, let's put something on the on there. They're obviously identical vehicles, so we're just going to drop that. We're going to put the uh, Mercedes-Benz up on here. Looks to be wide enough that you're going to be able to get most of your harvesters on. Except for maybe your widest harvesters. There we go. Put this up here. Just leave it running for now. Okay, let's let's just make sure load is locked. All right, so now we got ourselves a nice little piece of equipment transport. I'm going to run into something. Oh, my gosh. So much equipment in the way. Sorry, tractor. Nice. That looks really nice. That is that's another really nice piece of equipment transport. Whoops. <laughs> that's just me driving badly. And it keeps it on there, which is good. It's got a stop sign, too. Excellent. Oh, sorry. 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 Crap. There we go. There. All right. So I like that transport trailer. A heck of a lot more than the Great Danes. <laughs> All right. Now, our next, our next fun little adventure. It's going to be the Zeppelin. Now. I, I like the idea of the Zeppelin here. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to try to put it. There's a couple things I want to do with it. First of all, 
First of all, I want to know why I can't pick it up with my bale, with my not bale forks, my pallet forks. One would think. Okay. That's a small problem. All right, go away then. Let's buy some bale forks. My bale forks have a little bit wider, I think. So I maybe we'll, uh, we'll be able to pick up our Zeppelin. So if we can't pick it up, it sort of loses some of its usefulness. Yeah, I think they're a little bit wider. No. Uh, oh, yeah, well, that would help there. Oh my gosh. Come on, little bugger. There. Oh, come on. No, don't go wandering off. You need some ground presence, my little friend. Okay, this thing is supposed to be full of fuel. Really? What is going on here? Uh, okay. That maybe? There. Jeez. All right, the pushing it along the ground is kind of an annoying artifact of farming. So basically the thing has the same physics as the freaking bales. <laughs> which is not the best in the world. And now it has come completely off. Do we see this? Do we see this? It's come completely off the spike. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drive it over here because what I want to do and what I was thinking was a really great use for this thing would be to put it on the back of the Ford. Because this Ford doesn't have a fuel thingy on it. The other Ford does. So I was like, you know, what would be really cool? It's going to look kind of derpy back here, but that's all right. It's all right. It's just a test, right? Just a test of the emergency Zeppelin transporting system. Okay. There we go. And then back uh, off. Leave it on the truck, please. No, I want you to leave it on the truck. Oh my gosh, it's like having a freaking bale attached to your fork. Get off. What is your problem? No, don't do that. Okay, get there. All right. Okay, now it looks really silly on there, but... There, we're gonna slam a sharp spike into a drum of fuel. That's a good idea. Okay, that was fun. Now I should be able to um, lock the load. There we go, I saw the truck sit down. So it should be locked now. And grab my fuel handler, handle, press mouse button to fill. Oh my gosh, I need I need I need another vehicle to fill. Uh put 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 that back. Let's um start this up. Wow, that looks terrible on the back of this truck. Oh my gosh. Stop stop with that funky Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. Get in the truck. Whoa, stop, stop. Okay. We made it here. Get that. Then, super shot. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. But, that's a cool, I mean, it's sort of a useful thing. I don't know how useful it really would be, honestly. I think it would have its uses on a large farm. But there's so many pieces of equipment out there like this Ford truck that have an onboard fuel drum. I just don't know how useful the Zeppelin is. But it's got, I mean, whoa, teleportation a little bit. I, I like the concept of having this and that I can only walk as far as, as it'll let me before it says, no, you can't walk that way because you're holding on to me. Um, the the super fuel flying thing is kind of funny, but you can sort of forgive that. But 
Yeah, there you go. That's the Zeppelin for you. Uh, easily transportable fueling drum, I guess, is what we can call it. We also looked at the uh, Great Dane trailers. I'm not sold on them. I'm not... I think they're going to do a job if you have a bunch of bales, maybe, and you don't want to to use one of those bale auto loaders. Uh, maybe you can put some hay in there, but again, you have to load the stuff and hay is terrible. You can get some equipment in there, but... Uh, if I'm going to transport equipment, I'm going to get this trailer. I mean, when it comes down to it, this trailer is my equipment transport. I'm not really sure, but if you have a need for one of these trailers. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. This one's better if you're transporting equipment. This looks very nice. I like the little sounds it makes when it does the various tasks. Just a really nice, clean looking little trailer. And of course, the Zeppelin is silly, but functional. All right, there you go. I've been Dear Tabbers. This has been your Farming Simulator 2013 mod spotlight of a couple of trailers and a Zeppelin. Till next time, happy farming.